Welcome to Dr. Rathan Talks. We are going to have a very interesting dynamic case study based on Pushpa, a Telugu movie which is hitting the market from last six months in Andhra Pradesh and globally. And we have taken this strategic leadership to give as a dedication to my mentor, guru, and who is responsible for my entire growth. Very honest, dedicated, committed, Professor K.S. Butsap is a renowned professor, international consultant, a policy decision-making advisor to the different governments worldwide especially Government of India and Department of Public Enterprises. And he has designed a number of programs for the senior executives, senior IS officers, bureaucrats in this country to transform the public enterprises from glass making to profit making. And he also very innovative model under Professor Mr. G and Bharti. They have come out with a very interesting a model of uh, MBA for public enterprises at Institute of Public Enterprise, where most of this, because of their, their innovative idea, most of the people worldwide now their top positions in management from the public enterprises move to private enterprises, move to the Navaratnas, in, and because of the main brain child of Professor Bhatsap and Professor Mishraji. So now in this case study, we have taken Pushpa as a case study for teaching in the corporates, for training all the top executives as a case study. Professor Bhatt is a master in teaching entire management in like Mahabharata. People say it's not Ramayana. We can teach in three sentences, three days and three, three years also. Same thing, entire strategic management give orientation now because he used to teach in the different top level institutions in the world about one week, six months because time is very precious for them. And now just what he used to teach that we have taken case study of Pushpa is a very interesting a case as in ethically speaking, smuggling of our sandalwood which is available only in Andhra Pradesh. Smuggling is going for decades together. Ethically, it is not, we are not happy with the morality, but we thought that by highlighting this case, we can stop the smuggling further because 90% of the wood is still smuggling. That's what the newspaper says. And now really it is eye opener for all of us. I thought let us read. Now let us come to state to the, this case. I'm going to cover mostly in this a background. This fellow. In this case, what we can learn is that ordinary person has been imagined as a leader. And what steps he has taken? Especially the Pushpa, the person who is there in this movie, actually he is not having any education background, any education background and how he has become leader, that is a very important thing for us. So now you can see here, this entire this case study talks with uh, a smuggling of sandalwood from Andhra Pradesh. This is available only in Andhra Pradesh in three districts of Andhra Pradesh here, we can see here Kadapa, Chittur, Vellur and Tirunandapuram and partly in Tamil Nadu. This smuggling is taking place for decades, decades is going on, everybody knows. Now, in this case, we have taken this case as a model and entire case study we are going to talk about different ways actually very easily how we can, how we can explain to you people. That's a very interesting thing actually I wanted to uh, share, share, share this with this case. Now we can see here, we can, we can show this entire case study. Now first we are going to talk about this vision mission as Sandalwood as smuggling. And this person, even though he's a worker, he has not studied any of the business school study, he's not having much knowledge. But whatever fantas in corporates, whatever we are teaching in business schools worldwide, is implemented. That means we should really appreciate this director of the Sukumar who has done in-depth study and he has brought 
especially this uh, movies what we are seeing about now rangasthalam earlier in telugu bahubali and today this uh, pushpa and uh, the kgf from karnataka all these muggles you know there is some emotions these directors they also see the attitude of the people what really they like it most of the people they like our culture if we exhibit in the picture they also like the ordinary person emerging as a extraordinary leader so such psyches he has taken and they made huge money then this one lesson we can learn that you know for bringing we are giving them engineering we are giving masters we are giving phd then again we are making them to do all these fantas so many studies we have to make and we are asking them to implement without doing anything this fellow actually how he emerged as a some ordinary worker to there is a reason we have made as a mega leadership mega leadership a telugu movie because the entire movie itself is 2 and a half hours and entire case strategic management will take about 6 to 9 months but i am just giving you a orientation through a tele movie how we can learn management for top executives or it can be uh, undergraduate management students or mba students or working executives easily can understand what is strategic management even political leaders also so in this we have said if you really wanted to understand management one thing we should understand what are your strengths what are your weakness what your attitude that we are going to see from this leader and uh, from pushpa and again what are other factors for example whatever is happening externally environment about because of the covid now because of the american government china or because of wars how it is going to affect your business so again corrupt practices are going on whatever the policies are say that corrupt practices are going on how this person from a worker he by keeping all the people with him how we transform as a leader very important thing we can just think of in this case now we can just see here uh, very interestingly in this case actually what is happening is mukateshwara swami here by they has gone far as but it is a wealth of some lakhs of crores of rupees but unfortunately the smuggling is taking place now in this smuggling how this smart worker you can just go back to this uh, uh, case here this person and uh, he has just he is a small worker from chennai in this case allu arjun is a famous telugu leader he cut and from generally what is happening here most of the smugglers actually they are hiring some poor laborers innocent laborers from tamil nadu bringing them to this deep forest and they are engaging for 200 rupees people think that they are only cutting wood they don't know that they are actually smuggling some gas some gang letters in different levels are there top top people are involved in this people say is that so i have seen some articles in economic times i also read some books also it clearly shows that you know our precious you know the wood is going off the entire wealth is going off and to the other countries so now the actual market rate is about 2 crores there for per ton and whereas these people do their smuggling and they are already getting people sometimes they some laborers will be engaged to get that agent for the to the doing this smuggling work here so this person this pushpa the pushpa in this case study he has emerged as a emerged as a really a leader this person has emerged as a leader management there is a case always whether is a bond or made but whereas this pushpa in this case is a not bond because you have seen most of the political leaders like jawaharlal nehru children family but this person for example ke made leader because of situation he has emerged same thing raj secretary first time is a made leader because of situations so most of the people who have been made leader they are very very you know very very understand the people's needs and they really do wonders same thing in this pushpa also because of the situations you know he has just come as a worker and ultimately one day what happened this person when he is going on working there working you can see this person he emerged as a leader now we can see the people who have been really made as a leader not born leaders will not be that successful what we learn from this case is that now you can see and now this entire case we can learn from this is a pushpa and the pushpa is the right side person and now again you can see in this case the pushpa what he did is
he has exhibited some you can see the pishpa this person he is only worker they brought it from chennai generally it happens is happening from class under some 30 to 40 years and this this case study i think it happened in 1998 afterwards the government has brought up government of india to protect the environment protect the wood they brought up number of cases number of forces number of changes but still smuggling is going on that's what the paper reports so that's what reported in this picture also now the we can see here in this case this person is focusing the entire thing on branding he says the branding this is very important here we can learn one lesson from this pushpa this person actually he is more bothered about his branding he wanted to say that you know he can he, he is the leader and he himself is you know, something different from others here some ego is going on between this police officer and this he is a police officer and he is a smuggler mr pushpa so inspector you might have seen you know the inspector also first he was very strict and ultimately he is, he is expecting that this person he is not giving to respect when he reaches the police station he says that you know because of my dress i have some respect in society and whereas the pushpa says that by your dress actually he is not going to get any respect it all depends on your personality how we really do something good i want to good to society but you are expecting a respect from me like that both are having because of ego clash these things have happened now we can this is the very interesting thing we can see here and next what happened is the branding he says branding not because of what you are wearing dress what you are having the vehicle what you are having the you know shoes and what not but branding he says that the way you create value for your customer same thing as a leader as a leader i'm emerging in the in this far smuggling and he says that i will value my followers i have some ethics whatever money comes i'll share so like that sharing caring and all those things he says same there is a reason we can see in corporate ratan tata also on google these people whatever they promise they are creating value for them the message bench is the most costly for also people are ready to pay because they are creating value so what it says is that value means just you know by wearing big cars by wearing good dress nobody value you the way you respect that means people should have some respect and values that is very important now in this pushpa case because this person the sukumar has done in depth study and very strategically he has made study and then he has come out with this and every aspect of this whatever pushpa did from worker level to mega leadership we can then lot of lessons the good lessons for the budding managers in their life in this he says that in the strategic management first of all you should have some reason what you want to be in future you have seen alan mars also the richest man in the world how he started and how he has grown same thing our ambani these people even arayan murthy they are not actually bond leader they actually they made leader because of situation what is required they come out with that same thing here this person he thought that you know this smuggling is going on when these people are looting all the money mere bhi gut se mai bhi kuch karta hu bolte he will just think like that so he says that actually if you wanted to emerge as a leader from worker the one thing is you should, you should come out with a comfort you should not come out with a comfort zone that means what it says is that we can learn from this lesson from pushpa that no risk no gain see these people with the people culture people with emotions whether it is a bahubali whether it is a rangasthalam uh, whether it is a kgf all the people see the people the culture what they want what is their psycho they convert into picture and in the, mostly people which really take care of the mass their 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 emotions automatically people it hits that is the reason this person here this he has given the a personality created a leadership created in this for everything because generally this management we are learning for engineering for 15 years then again masters we are doing again we are doing phds in management and we are training people but this person without knowing any knowledge 
as a situation leader how he has converted as a transformation leader that's the lesson we can learn from this that's the reason we thought we can take this pushpa as a case study for teaching management for the executive with political leaders or a strategic leaders so it's very important and one more thing this person you can see his attitude see one thing is that it's all depends on attitude if you are in positive attitude you are going to be success his his attitude is that i want to win at any cost i want to become leader so that that winning that winning attitude the one and this person he says that the one thing is called the guru tagge the that means i don't want to go back at any cost i want to emerge i want to be number one some gut feeling is there mai kuch karke dikhata hu so this is a very interesting a lesson we can learn from the management point of view he says this person the tagge that we can see here tagge the means more related means you can learn very very positive attitude means first thing he says don't work like an employee think like a owner attitude to bring that what pushpa says actually in pushpa the, the man that you know the gang leader was actually wanted to share some 5 lakh rupees for example let us say he says i don't want 5 lakh give me only 4% now then he says oh, you are going to lose 2 lakh no problem i want to have only for some share 4% or 3% what it is 4% and ultimately he has agreed from employee from the worker he has become owner same thing you know in the corporates actually for doing companies extremely are working for next 3 years again lockdown period 3 years they are giving employee stock options to retain your customers and you are all feeling very happy this person without knowing any management he asked this his boss and ultimately once he become 4% or 3% decision making is whatever he says also matters same thing we have seen actually we myself and professor but we have did some consultancy for kerala for scooter industries that usually that industry was incurring huge loss and already lockdown it was there then about 100 100 100 and odd public enterprises in kerala closed then we have gone and we were applied this strategy first thing is we actually we made an entire company we have asked them to paint it we did it, everything and we said that company is going to start open this confidence building we have created then workers came and told sir actually it is fully rusted and all those who are going to work scooters are not in demand like that our model is very low then one worker came and told no no the same engine we can convert some some changes we can make it and we can convert into a three wheelers like a auto or bolero something like that then ultimately we we, we called them and everybody agreed that 50% salary they could go till we make the profit and we call the union leaders we also call the and some people they are ready to retain from the company they call the bankers they are also ready to give some concessions ultimately it has been succeeded so what i am trying to say that somebody has to change management somebody has to take a, a strategy same strategy we adopted there similarly this person also he has just motivating all the people here this is a very interesting thing we can learn here in this case so now next one we can just think of now we can just see here this person one more thing he says that first thing is we should have positive attitude second thing pushpa says that innovative strategy to work come from the risk this person daily they are cutting the this wood you can see this red wood and all and they are smuggling and through check post they are passing through it is going to chennai from chennai is going to china so this person when police is going and coming and attacking this person what he doing is he first time when he came they came and he, they says that we have right for these people says we have access they be also and they attacked with the stones and all and that is the one first, first strategy to save what would second time when again police came with 20 persons and these persons when they wanted to attack and then immediately what he did is he has thrown all this wood into the water river and immediately he asked somebody to go to the uh, dam and ask them to shut down the the shutter and he has saved the interest of their gang leader and they also bribed and the one more thing we should learn from this uh, this person was never actually never afraid and he was never having anger and he had full confidence no fear and he had courage and he had gut feeling that i am going to become leader so these are the strategies actually you know 
to overcome the strategy is not one thing is very innovative. Second thing is I got feeling. Third thing is he is not having fear, and he says that one day I'm 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 going to tell you. But get it later. One day I'm going to become. This is the one thing we can learn from this. Now, whatever he has made, even though it is a smuggling, and whatever they actually is making money. Actually, one day what happened? Just he has taken on his, on his own without you know taking everybody's help. He has gone to Upper Chennai Port and he got it too close. As a profit sharing, he has got it, but he has not taken himself. Even all the workers, he called them very openly, share the profit. It's called you know transparency, trust and relationship. When he has come to know about all these things, the main main gang leader and himself, they made him as a in charge for the entire Andhra Pradesh shop operations. So like this, this person, giant venture, me, what is happens is we can learn from the corporate also. Japanese, they says that. Inch by inch cleans yard, and think for a don't think for a short term gains. Think for a long term gains so like that. All those things. For example, the ambassador car is there. We are not innovative. We are not creative. Same models, same same colors without upgrading features. It was there for nearly two decades. Ultimately, company no longer to the market. Where the Japanese they came first. They said that we only supply some Indians. Second, they said we do marketing. Then we said we gear box. And ultimately, they took over. And giant ventures worldwide, they are very successful. They maintain relationship. They always think for long term. They always think for the customer reality, loyalty. So all these things, whatever is there, this person also exhibited here the push for. Now, one thing is strength. You have seen what is his strength? What are the weakness for him? What are the opportunities? What are the Threats. He converted threats. That means whatever the threat is, the middleman is eating all the money. He has they removed him, and he has converted issues. Is opportunity for him. And the strength is that you know he is having his innovation, creativity, guts feeling, and respect. These things he has come out, and with that actually he has come out with a very innovative thing. He can think of. So now again you can see Pushpa political. Economical, social, and technological factors. That means, what is the political political situation? Is government actually very strict? They are going on putting new police. They are going on changing police officers. Economically, what is happening is this: the central body is very very costly, very precious, and this uh, very you know economically lot of you no know, opportunities for making money. Social factors: we can get the lot of the smugglers from Chennai. We can pay them peanuts, and we can make money. And technological because there's only satellites it works because the satellites and uh, you might have seen most some agents are taken people and some VIPs also died in this forest another one of forest and all and so this person he is having in-depth knowledge and in smuggling firstly land because there are some check posts will be there somebody agent has to go we have to get this uh, uh, for workers and convert them into smuggling we have to give them some training and they also give some some. Uh, They also appoint some advocates for them. They also pay bribes different places, and all the in-depth knowledge he has learned. And he is having long-term vision. Okay, ultimately, I want to take the role. I wanted to become one day the head of this firm. So, and, and moreover, this person has been game plan like a chess game. He's going on playing chess game. He's going on playing, and because of strategy, because people are actually going on attacking and all. Ultimately, he has come out. Same thing, you know. You can see Indian economy on this first first of February 2022. Government of India also has come out with one strategy. Is called digital currency. So, like that, we can just think of digital currency. And with digital currency, we can avoid our tax evasion. China did in 2014 itself. Same thing. This person also. One thing he is believing on his courage, and he, he might, might have seen when the police has come first time. He has put all uh, all the people, asked them to attack. With axes and stones, again second time he has thrown into that. Third time, milk van he has created, and in the bottom he has put this wood and and some on the top he is putting the sometimes vegetables, sometimes the milk. Like thing, what he says is that we cannot apply same strategy again and again. Then you will not be successful. That means one is my gut gut feeling right now, my gut tone, no compromise. And other one is talking about innovation, and again. Team building. He is building teams, and he is also leading teams. He is not fear of anybody. He has seen the branding. Even he has gone to police house. He says that no, sir. My to 
both are having ego the police officer is having ego that he should come and respect because of his dress because of position government has given him and this person says that i will not give respect for them just only for shoes only for and if you are having values if you are having ethics then i will give usle he says that i will i am giving respect to society i am not give us giving respect to my workers i mean respect to my gang leader he says that's the one thing we can learn from this so most of the companies also when the actual suppose now covid is going on some corporates what it is they never stop for their salary they taking care of very well that's why company people are not living some companies you know with the in the covid period they, they cut down their salaries they not pay type of salary in time now those come all the faculty all those workers left to, and again they facing huge problems what it says is that when people working under you and they should take care of them I have seen in this movie also some of the villains, some of the people when they actually some people gone on surgery that you know most of the uh, people who are the main you know, characters in this along with the Kushpa the actors there and uh, because of COVID nobody want to act but some people have taken the risk and they acted to the ninety and all now we hit in the market the entire their life we change that's what it says that if you don't if you don't risk no gain and always. Think for win-win. All this thing we can think of. Reliance Industries also, when they started in initially 1980s, people are not accepting the stock market, and the industry has not taken immediately. Still, they are still dividend. They are taking care of the, their employees. Same thing. Tata, not only for their companies. Tata being, during this COVID, he has distributed a lot of uh, you know uh, even food and whatnot. People are going on the road without chappal and all. Government declared uh, lockdowns and all. They face lot of problems. In the crisis that we can care of and help them like that we can think of. So this person, like Fortune five hundred companies, this Pushpa also is taking care of his mother. And there is a people are say that you don't have the name of your family and all those things like Karna. And Duryodhana was ruling, but Karna was never always with ethics and values. Same thing, this person also that other person was actually middleman. That Mangal Sathi, whatever the person is there, he is making a lot of money. But this, this person, the relation with the fathers, with the members of family, villagers, and all these things he is celebrating. It is always being good things from this country. So now, what are lessons we can learn from this Ratan Tata Airlines? We can just see here to show himself in the to all come with the access. That's one thing. Second one, confidence building, very important. Read from the print like a Ratan Tata Air India. Same thing. The Pushpa also encourage all we come with access when there is danger is there. Confidence building he has given and he has done from the Karna in Mahabharat. He was strategist like in Krishna like in there. And Ratan Ratan Tata take over Air India and employ three percent share. People are very happy. Same thing. This person with beyond their imaginations he has brought lot of whatever money is there. He distributed to all of them. Even though they are not asked, so something here. What are the lessons we can learn from this? There are eight fantas we can learn from this, and do these are the fundamentals, the fantas of total management. What entire world is teaching this person without knowing anything, emerge as a leader, and that's the reason I thought he is a mega leader. And the lessons we can learn is always positive attitude, like Pushpa, and be courageous. Got to know it. No risk, no gain in the business. And innovation. Even you have seen different types of innovations. He brought it to escape from the police. Same thing. Companies also. For example, I have seen most of the top uh, cars. In every shift, there is some innovation. We thought they say even G says with the BHL partner in India in Hyderabad and Delhi and then all all other BHL units. He says that either number one or number two or get out of the business. So that means this person emerged. The first thing he came as a leader. He was then he has become a situation leader, then emerged as transformation leader. That means he is able to transfer. He is, he is not just paying the only just money. He is actually sharing and caring. That is very important here. And he has exhibited some ethics and values. And this is one and lead from the front. And he also understood what is the business, in depth analysis of the business. If you know all this, whatever this Pushpa exhibited all this from worker to the A bureaucratic nature of worker, and he also applied sama dana beda thanda. He is not afraid. He is not anger. 
he has given the respect to them and ultimately when they are not actually listening to them then danda so you can learn whatever mahabharata says whatever ramayan says whatever karna placed whatever krishna placed whatever strategic management teaching worldwide we can just nutshell we should learn from this let us really appreciate the sukumar the way he has come out this picture is a good lesson for all of you so the second part what is there we can think of something but again we are going to bring something because of virtual organizations we are seeing number of articles are coming that number of factors like they are actually talking about employee engagement they are talking about people concern they are talking about inclusion and what not and actually on this uh, my linked in other groups also most of the people they are ready to contribute and we are going to bring the world latest knowledge through these case studies so please follow my case studies and it is very innovative i wanted to contribute this entire knowledge to the common man a rural farmer children a teacher children those cannot afford to go and study abroad i can, i want to bring those knowledge to their doorstep through my youtube channel please subscribe and and i also wanted to bring that to digital kids are coming and most of the professors were looking for sharing their knowledge through our so that we can share this knowledge worldwide and we can make it a global society and especially our nri especially i request all our people to contribute back to our telangana and andhra pradesh and see that our india our village also grow like the world best villages thank you please if you like this just like share and subscribe and again button and push on the bell button and upcoming sessions we can expect another two three sessions in the next coming we are talking about global culture we are bringing about startup companies we are talking about renovations all those new sessions and one more uh, advocate from high court he has come out with that the case study on the prohibited and people actually not accepting high court orders what will be steps we can take as a farmers that we are going to bring in series shortly thank you please support us by liking sharing and subscribing to dr ratan talks channel